The Monty and the Pharaoh Show is brought to you by... Because wine is your second favorite four-letter word. California wine, New York attitude, good fucking wine. Yeah. Read them, but they'll not tell you how to read them. So it's just like you got to be over the top yourself and like put your own self into those lines. And they would never really tell you that. So like me and Miles... We always like wanted to be over the top because like we're we're both funny guys on the outside. And I'm like, hey man, let's, let's let's start being funny. So we we got all the funny stuff. So like it was crazy. So, so leading up to that, um, you know, it was like a few weeks before we had the departure with one of the group members and uh, just the stuff like that. It's a whole different topic. And then so we came into us three, and there was they there were talks of adding another member. Because we asked, we asked someone that was highly influenced. So we were just talking with like, hey, are we adding a female? Are we adding male to the group? It's like whatever, whatever you guys want. We just wanted to kind of be in the loop, just so we make the best of the opportunity that you guys give us with the person that we are given. And um, week before, like, no, it was like two weeks before. So Tate, uh, they added another guy, and he he started joining us. Like he was like in little things here and there but it was like kind of weird before that like we were doing rumbles and we did that little battle royale where it made it look like it was like my fault for like eliminating charlie so it like it kind of made everything look like it was my fault why everyone was losing which like i was fine with i have no ego when it comes to losing i was like i'm just fine like it's 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 fun you know i really enjoyed i really love wwe so i didn't really give a crap about the wins or losses or looking stupid but it kept like it was like they i was being told something through wrestling that no one was telling me to my face, which I would have greatly appreciated if someone did do that. So, and so we, we did a match with the guy. The stipulation was whatever you beat that you beat, you beat Damon, you're in whatever, whatever. And uh, it was crazy. Like a week before those guys that there was the other three members that they, the guy that they, they added. So they, they went to TNA and to do the pre-tape shows that week, a week, like two weeks before. And I was I was left off of it. And like there was really no, hey, Damien, you're being left off because of this and this and this. It was more so uh, one of my guys, one of the guys came up to me. He was like, hey, did you get the text? And I was like, um, no, I didn't. And then uh, they went over to TNA, TNA and stuff like that. And I was like, all right, this is kind of getting kind of, this is getting a little weird. You know, this is like, all right, getting a little weird. And like it's just like the timing of things too. Like my contract was coming up that following month, so I was like, "All right, what are we doing? Like, what kind of are we thinking? What are we doing and stuff like that?" And then so I had a talk with the guy that was highly influenced, and I was like, "Hey, man, you know, um, what are we doing here? Like, am I still part of the group? You know, or be in my, you know, are we still working towards something that we talked about?" And he was he he just gave me a bunch of ideas. He was, "Oh yeah, two three months down the road, you guys are gonna." Uh, the Heritage Cup's going to come back to you guys. Uh, you guys are going to be champions. Are you guys going to defend it? We got this, we got that, we got this, we got that. And I was like, okay, cool. You mentioned two or three months down the road. He's like, you got great connection with the crowd. You're doing this. You got, you're a great in-ring worker, great promos, all this uh, all this stuff. And I was like, oh, cool, okay, cool. So it was like reassuring for me like the week before. And then um, I knew that my contract was coming up. So I like briefly just like touched on and I was like, uh, hey, my like I love WWE. I want to be here. Like I want. I would like to, you know, be here as long as I can. It's a, it's a great job. And it's real fun. And I was like, who do I talk to when it comes to uh, my contract resigning? Like, do, is there anyone I can talk to about that? Because I like to. I like to be here, and it's coming up in a few weeks. And then they, oh yeah, talk to so and so about that. About that. And it was tough because during that time, uh, everyone was gone in Toronto for that pay per view. So I never get I never got an opportunity to opportunity to ask that person face to face, like, hey, my my deal's up. Is there something that we can talk about? Like, I want to be here. Like, I'd love to be here. I want to be here. And so that Monday came and I was looking to talk to that person and they never came. Like they never came into, I guess they landed Sunday and then everyone had like Monday off and stuff like that. So they never I never got to talk to anyone. And so that Monday night, and this was a week after I had that great talk with the highly influenced, highly influenced person. And so I was just sitting on my couch and then I get a call from 
uh, talent relations. And then I was like, oh, okay, cool. This might be the the call that I'm getting in, getting her, getting my renewal over moving forward and stuff like that. And they're like, hey, Damon, like, oh, we appreciate everything, but we decided that we are not going to renew you. And I was like, I was like, take it back for a second. I was like, trying to like process it. And I was like, like, then we just, I just talked to, I didn't say it, but it was just like, brain was just spinning. And I was like, I just had a great talk with so and so last week about all these great things, like stuff and what was going to happen and stuff like that. And I was like, like baffled in my brain. Like, I was almost like stunned a little bit. Like, I got hit with a stun gun. And then I was like, uh, okay. And then there was, oh, yeah, no need to show up to the TV or PC anymore. You got 30 days. And it's crazy because I was actually, uh, I was booked for TV that Tuesday, the, the next day. I, because I was booked and I was like completely caught off guard. So I was like, I have a notification to go into work tomorrow. And then you guys just tell me that the day before that you're not resigning me. And it's like completely caught off guard. And like I mentioned the great conversation the week before. And I was like, whoa. So it was just kind of like, it was like, I was just stunned. I was like, all right. You know, I was like, you know, so I was really taken back and really caught off guard, you know, but I, there was no regrets, you know, no regrets. 